welcome to Planet Zoo. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. For today's episode, we are going to be working on a Springbok exhibit. I also did do a bit of work off camera, mainly because I had to get rid of the last zoo, because I ended up running it into the ground. So we're starting over, and I did all this off camera, which should have happened in episode 1, more or less. But we'll see how this goes, and hopefully, I won't run it into the ground like last year. I did create the artwork enclosure, added another one here mainly because this one was getting too many artworks, and we also have a baby right here Nubulunagi. I hope I pronounced that right. But for today's episode, we are going to be working on the spring rock exhibits, which I did kind of start right here. We already have them in, we just need to work on the exhibit a bit more. And we'll also be maybe working on the river, which I'm planning on running through here. All the way down through there, maybe continue that. This is also temporary right here, I plan to make a much more extensive food court area over the river. So don't worry about that, we'll just forget about that in now. Well, so far we seem to have a pretty steady income, for now at least, <laughs> hopefully we don't lose that. But the artworks seem happy, so I'm happy. And so do the people, or our visitors. And this little one is so adorable. Just look at him. Money guessing think ticket prices are underpriced, alright. Let's just up that a little bit, to 10 maybe? Try that. How does that work? Is that going to make our guests happy? Alright, for now let's work on this. So if our guests don't mind the ten dollar tickets. Steady at 254, so I hope they don't mind that. I guess I might need to get a security guard in the future. And looks like we'll need another staff room. And we'll work on that later. We're going to work on this right now. I'm just going to speed things up. A bit just to see how the guests react to their new ticket prices. Ten dollars per ticket person. Seems to be dropping. Not any more. Okay, yeah, ticket prices overpriced. All right, let's try five. Let's try that. I seem to enjoy that. 270. Alright, we'll wait for the night to pass and then we'll work on the exhibit. However, I am going to quickly plop down some uh, donations. There we go. Yes, give us your money. Please, throw your money into the box right there if you enjoy the exhibit. And we unlock some new items. Disease animal discovered. Shawnee, Springbok. Oh no. Oh, let's see what's going on there. Oh, let's take a look at this. No, it was a vet. There we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there's Shawnee. 
let's see. Let's go to zoo. Vet research. Listerosis. Let's reassign you to researching that. I hope you'll be fine. Alright, well that's happening. Let's go ahead and speed back up and wait for the night to pass so we can continue building this. For future reference, Africa is a biome of grassland and desert. Alright, let's go to terrain. So they prefer desert. Everything good there? So far, so good. Right, let's put pause. Then we'll work on the uh, lake, which I'm going to probably put maybe right around here. Let's move that. And maybe that as well. Terrain. Reduce the size a bit. Maybe three. Not sure. Right. So I want it to be maybe not deep. I'll go with that. Uh, right, Latin. Let's maybe try that. Let's go a little bit deeper. Uh, right, let's try some water. Obstructed? Why are you obstructed? Why are you obstructed? There's plenty of water there. Let's just try doing it a bit more. Alright, now let's try doing the water. So obstructed for whatever reason. I wonder if it's because of that. Can you move? There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now we need to work on the rest of the exhibit. Maybe we'll put down a bit more water there as well. Just a little pond. Let's add the water. There we go. Alright, let's see about nature. Again, let's just Add a bit of uh, dirt. Let's see, just to kind of match the desert feel. Increase the size a bit. Just lightly brush the dirt around. Just add a bit of sand. So the grass. The 
with an odd high grass over around the lake or the water. A bit here as well. Like how flat it is, so we're just gonna have a couple kills here now. Because we'll need to completely redo the uh, large one right here as well, which is going to be a bit larger. Just so that we can cover up this area. And a bit more rolling hills around here. Oh dear, he's. <laughs> oh dear. That does not look good. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be fine. Let's just continue growing the mountain here. It should be big enough, maybe? We'll add a couple of rocks there. Let's get back to uh, painting. Okay, this is going to be a bit rocky. That will add. I think we should add a bit of data as well. There's a bit of dirt around here just to clear up the high grass. As well as around here. There we go. So let's add a bit more sand. That should be enough. All right, now let's uh, get into the trees. Coconut palm. Okay, let's have some of those. Do we have any small ones? Let's see what else do we have. Hawkthorn, acacia. We have that flower. Marula tree. Frankincense. Salt cedar bush. And an acacia tree. I feel like that might be a bit big. I don't know, maybe that might be a bit big. I suppose we could probably like add one around here. Let's add one right, maybe right here. Let's go with that. Let's add just a couple nettle bushes there. Maybe even a hook, maybe even a King Protea. I'm probably pronouncing that terribly. Let's just add one of the colors there. Let's see, can we go to uh, rocks? Oh, right, perfect. Then we'll put this one here. Move that down. That should work perfectly. Let's grab one of the bigger ones. 
like that. Maybe we'll put that there. Let's grab a, the second biggest one. Is there any other bigger ones? That one, maybe. Let's actually put that one right here. Right underneath. We'll just grab this one. We'll move that maybe around there. Let's twist it just a bit. Let's also just can't move that up a bit as well. Put that there. I'll grab this and bring that down a bit. Right, that should work. Let's grab a, we'll use one of these again. Let's see where is it? Where is it? That one. Move that in. Come out. Let's grab that. And we'll put that there. So grab another one and put that there as well after twisting it. Yeah, that looks work. Alright, let's use one of these. Bring that down, twist it just a bit, and move that in. Kind of making a staircase out of rocks. Press it again. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add a rock there just to cover that gap up. And also add a rock around here. Just one small one right around here, maybe. And just one other small one connecting there. Perfect. Let's work on the back end here, <laughs> so that doesn't look ugly. Let's bring that there. Let's add one there. Maybe we'll add one of these again right here. I need one of these. 
one should work, and I'll put another one here and twist it. Let's see about bringing that up just a bit. And then bringing it out. We're definitely going to have to raise a fence though. <laughs> because that is definitely going to be a way for the spring box to escape. Let's grab another one of these. Bring it around. Creating kind of like a road system. Let's raise that up and twist it. That should be high enough. Because I want to add just one more down there. I'm twisting it. And we'll add one here, and that should be it. Perfect. We have a little mountain. Alright, so I want to add just a couple of rocks here. Use this one. And then one here as well. Let's try using this one. Then bring it down. And bring it there. Perfect. Alright. That doesn't look half bad. Maybe add a little bit more dirt here. As well as here. And here. And a bit more there as well. There we go. Now let's work on the nature side of things here. Continent Africa. Then we also need some grassland items. Alright, let's try putting down a couple of trees. See, can we put one down maybe here? How would that look? We go a bit taller. Twist that around. Bring that in just a tiny bit more. There's just a small bit of dirt there that we'll use. Alright, that works. So let's put a tree there. What else do we have here? Let's put some papyrus there. And there. And we'll work on this a bit. Use a small bit of nettle. Around here too. Work on some of the flowers as well. Put one there, and one there as well. Some here. Let's see what else can we add in for trees? Let's put a hawk thorn maybe right here. A 
I've also put a bit of metal around it as well. Let's go back to the small one. Add a bit around here. I'll add a bit here as well. Just a small tree there. And we'll add some elephant grass. Perfect. Just add a bit here as well. There we go. That doesn't look half bad. Let's see how big are these? I think we could probably lower the glass just a tiny bit. So starting here. We'll go up this way. And there. Or just a tiny bit. That should work. Leave that the same height. Now as for this area. Let's go ahead and raise this up. Especially considering the rock formation that I just put down. Perfect. Now that does not look half bad. Let's see how they like the new exhibit and why is this in a box? There we go. Not sure what happened there. But everyone is accounted for. And they got their food. And there they go eating. Oh, that's so adorable. Let's go cinematic here. We'll use that. There we go, and our little zoo is growing. Kind of want to add a bit more grass because it is supposed to be a grassland animal. I don't know. Let's see, can, is there any type of low grass that I can add? Aloe vera. Let's add a bit of this around just for fun. Actually, you know what? Let's add a rock here. Let's see, is it? Hold on. We're looking for grass. What kind of grass can we add? They have nettle. That's about it. Papyrus. So just a bit more there. And we unlock some more vet research. But I'm just going to reassign you to the spring block. And then I'll just put a bit more rocks around here. Not that high. And then one there. 
Perfect. I'll also add a bit of a bit of aloe vera. There we go. And our income seems to be doing great so far. I hope. Oh, it's laying down. I was going back up. How are you feeling about your new exhibit? They love it, except for the enrichment. Seems to be a bit short on the short grass though. They want more long grass, alright. Let's add a bit more around here. I'll turn this area into long grass haven. Hopefully they'll enjoy that. No, no, wait, they need more short grass. Okay, I messed that up. Let's just get rid of all that. No more grass for you. Alright, how do you feel about that? Well, we're going with that. Alright. Well, I think we're going to end it here for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. It really is a bit nostalgic for me because when I was younger, I used to play a lot of Zoo Tycoon 2. I really enjoyed that franchise. And this one is really kind of a nostalgia trip for me. Oh, there goes a spring buck. Oh, I didn't get to see it in the water. I wanted to see that. Sad days. How are the artifacts doing over here? There's a baby. That seems to be doing fine. Seems to be having severe last. Alright. Oh, so we're gonna have to work on giving them some more water. Oh, this might be why. Oh, there's some dirty water there. Let's just go ahead and uh, add a. Let's see, can we add utilities? Water treatment. Here we go. Try putting it down here, maybe? There we go. I should clean up that water there. Well, we're going to end things here for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. And leave your criticism in the comments. Until next time, see you all later.